gosh, I don't think the world would be a cool place without art. I think it's a, for me, it's definitely a safe haven. Um, I use art a lot to express how I feel. That's how I would define it. I, I would define art as anything that you create that's original. Art is a is a, a vision, a, a creation of um, things that you picture from your mind. I define art as something that anyone can do and that um, it doesn't really matter if you're good at it or not. It's a creative thing. I think a lot of my friends have been through a lot of stuff. It was their way of coping with stress or sadness. Bueno, el arte para mí es la vida, porque pues yo definitivamente soy artista, soy pintor y he vivido toda mi vida eh, trabajando en artes. Tra trabajo aquí en la comunidad de, de East Harlem. When it does arts, it relaxes mind. I am trained in understanding how art can be used to open someone up more if someone needs to be a little bit more expressive and allow themselves to access more of their feelings or how to tailor it in such a way that it can serve more as a means of self-soothing and so through these gradual processes it's a gradual opening up of increased self-expression. There's been a lot of research that shows certain types of art making decreases anxiety and stress among anybody. Art therapy is a mental health profession that incorporates art making in addition to verbal psychotherapy to improve emotional, mental, and physical well-being. I work with a lot of young adults and children with issues such as ADHD, autism, depression, anxiety, adjustment disorders. Art can be a means of self-soothing and affect regulation, which means it's a way that they can calm down. So if they're feeling anxious, working with clay or gluing wood can be helpful. Painting for one child I worked with in particular was very soothing and he could create products which he was proud of. For children especially, art making is a non-threatening creative way to engage them in the process when words alone are not enough. We all have engaged in art when we were younger and frequently at times because of certain limitations someone can start identifying a little bit as the symptoms, the cluster of symptoms, rather than having a sense of self beyond that. As an artist, you have a sense of agency. You're creating something. It can give them a sense of pride and self-worth that their artwork is, that they produce something that they're proud of. There are many different levels and different types of intelligence. So some of us might be more visual learners or kinesthetic, which means working with our hands or auditory. Art making serves as a tool for communication, accessing the creative within and expressing it. Art is the ability to create what's inside, uh, feelings, emotions, and bring it to the outside. And art making is an opportunity to connect with others, to connect with the environment. And present it to others, uh, not so much for them to say what it is, but to feel what it is. So for some people, it might be easier to write about it, to create music, filmmaking. Art can have a much broader term than just the visual arts. Art can be creatively engaging in a conversation, spontaneously dancing, cooking a meal for family. I would define art as original diversity creativity, like us. <laughs> Give him a view of what, you know, what, what is happening in the world. And so it's an opportunity to leave your mark and actually be seen for who you are in that particular way. Y soy maestro de artes. Entonces, eh, hago exhibiciones, pinto, todo, todo es relacionado a, 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 a las actividades que tengo que es de arte. Por eso digo que el arte es mi vida. It's a way for artists to share with people how they feel and the rest of the world, maybe even to make a change. <laughs>